walk down the electrical aisle at your local hardware store and wonder, why is Romex in so many different colors? Is it just for looks? Or does each color actually mean something? But before we dive in, hit the like button, subscribe for more electrical tips on DIY projects. In this video, I'll break down what each Romex color means, which gauge wire is inside, and whether you should or shouldn't use them in your home. Stick around because by the end of the video, you'll be able to walk into the store, grab the right wire with confidence. Whether you're wiring up a simple outlet or doing a big DIY project, it's very important to know what these colors on these Romexes mean and the wire gauge that it's associated with them. It will help you with your project and also help you not cause a fire or a big problem. Go. All right, guys, we've got some different Romexes here. We've got a gray, we've got a yellow, a blue, a white, and a white. First off, let's start with this gray. This gray is actually not a Romex, it's an underground feeder UF. So, as you can tell, these are all separated. What we use this for is if we have to use um, this stuff underground, like out to a kitchen island, we'll throw some conduit in the slab. When it's all said and done, we'll pull this through up from your wall to your kitchen island and then electrify your kitchen island with it because this stuff is not rated to go underground. Your NMB is not rated. So let's take a look at that. We've got a yellow, a blue, and some whites here. This yellow, whenever you see yellow, think of number 12 because that's what it is. You've got a number 12 wire in here. And number 12 is graded for 20 amps in a residential service or a residential setting. So whenever you're doing your kitchens, your bathrooms, garages, say you're wanting to run a dishwasher, that would be a good place to use a 12. Also a refrigerator, you would want to run a number 12 for 20 amps and put it on a 20 amp breaker, which is yellow. So yellow is number 12, 20 amps. Now they're starting to come out with blue where they've been going, they've had blue out for a little bit and that's 14 gauge. 14 gauge is 15, is rated for 15 amps. So anything blue is on a 15 amp circuit. Your smoke detectors, um, your lighting, you can get away with that. Sometimes you want to do your bedrooms on 15 amp receptacles. Um, wouldn't do that. I'd stick with yellow. But blue is, is um, 15 amps. Now, if you don't have a blue or a yellow at your supply store or your local big box store and everything is white, you're still all right. This stuff, this white right here is actually 14. So there's a 14.3 here and a 14.2 here, which all three of these, white, white, blue, are rated to be put on a 15 amp circuit. Don't put it on a 20. That's when we start melting fires and we don't want to do that. Don't start melting wires because what comes next is a fire in the house. Then after the fire, the insurance company shows up and starts asking, who was the licensed electrician to do that, to do the wiring. And if you don't have a permit or any proof, your insurance people will walk away and pretty much say it's up to you. So keep your 14s on 15 amp breakers. This white is starting to phase out and it's all going to blue. 12 is 20 amp. Now, we don't have any here, but if you go to orange, if you see an orange, that's a number 10 and that's up to 30 amps. That will be your dryer. Some small split systems can be put on an orange. So if orange, orange is 10, yellow is 12, blue is 14. And if you just have white, you're going to have to look on here and it tells you NMB and it tells you the wire size. If you look on your let's see if we can get this in here if you guys look on your um your packaging 14 2 
250 feet. So 14.2 means that it's on 15 amp breaker. This one would say 12.2. Let me see if I, here, I've got some 12.2 right here. Right here, 12.2 NMB. Yellow. So, guys, just take a little bit of time and... Ooh, and prepare yourself for what you need by the time you get to the store because it gets overwhelming when we get to the store we get into that electrical aisle and our brains just go crazy so one more time 12 14 and this is uf 12 is good for 20 amps 14 15 amps so guys take that in consideration next time you're doing your diy projects or your your honeydews around the house, oh, I can just add a receptacle that'll be good and the wife will be happy. So there's a little pointers for you on that. And keep that in mind when you get that to the big box stores or wherever you need to know, go. Have your list already. Don't get caught up with the other stuff. So that's all I got for now. Guys, thanks for watching. Again, if you have something, if you get something out of this, give me the like so other DIYers can also find this video. That will help them out. Thanks again, and we'll talk soon.